Hey guys, I'm here today to show you um, radio install slash sub install in your 09 Trailblazer. I mean, I know there's not many videos on exactly what I'm talking about here, so I'm going to help you guys out. If you have a Trailblazer with a Bose sound system in it, you're going to need a interface with the radio. As you can see, I put a Pioneer head unit in here, and now I'm going to be doing my subs. Now, there's an interface in there that I bought. It's around 100 and some dollars, and it's like by Metra, and it's the harness. You need that for it to work with the Bose uh, sound system in the car and the uh, OnStar and stuff like that. So what we're going to start out with, to get to the radio itself, there's going to be a screw right there, which I've already taken out. There's going to be a screw right here and right here. Those are three. Those are all Phillips. Then you have to take a small flathead, pop this off, and pop this off. And these are going to be seven millimeter bolts right here. And then this piece comes down, and there's going to be another Phillips right here, a Phillips right there, and a Phillips right there. And then now this piece can come down. It pops down, and then now you can slowly from the center start popping this panel out which I'm going to need two hands so I'm probably going to do this and then see this panel starts to pop out like this. Continue to run my hand along the top and slowly pull and it finally popped off. Now you got to keep it here because down here there's going to be your two connections for your 12 volt uh, cigarette lighters and then there's also going to be a connection back here for or two actually for the um, for the your controls. So you want to go ahead and be very careful when you plop, uh, pull those clips out. So I pop these out. Now you may want to use, they're, they're just tabs, so you may want to use a little flathead screwdriver to push it in. They pull out and same over here, you just get your finger in there, you twist, you just uh, give it pressure and it pop, pops right out. So now what you want to do is you want to lower your steering wheel all the way down so that you can get room to it. And then you have to just slowly you, you just have to slowly twist it out. It's a two-hand job, but it does come out. Try leaning it forward and get this part out first. Okay, now you're at this position. You've twisted it in, you pull from the top and it comes out. There's one more connection right here for the windshield wiper. Now also, if you had four-wheel drive, that'd be right here. That's gotta be unplugged too. So go ahead and do that and then I'll be back. All right, so now that you unclipped these which there's just a tab and it comes out too now this has got to go the whole thing's got to go to the right and you just got to be careful with your shifter now if you wanted to to make this even easier you could pull the parking brake and you could put it into you push the brake put it in parking brake and then push it which you need the keys in the ignition but you could put it down into like first gear or something with the parking brake on it's got to be on and then it'll then this would already just be able to pull right out You got the whole trim piece out now you can just set that aside which I'm just gonna put it here in the back seat that's okay for now all right so my uh, my pioneer radio is in here with a Metra um, mounting kit and then uh, it's also I have a Metra harness now these I believe are seven mil which I should have right here so I'll be able to tell you Yes, they're seven mil. So if you had a stock radio, same thing. There'd be two uh, seven mil bolts right here and one over here, and then the stock radio will just come out. So I'll take those out, and then I'll be uh, I'll show you what's behind there. Okay, so now I'm back. I took those screws out. Now for you guys, this is the easiest thing, so you don't lose your screws. Just put them in the cup holders. Like I have this, what I need and everything right here in the cup holder. So that's that, that's the easiest way. So now this is unhooked. I'm gonna pull this out. Now my harness is pretty long. I kept it longer because I knew that one day it may come out of this car. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand here. So it's, it's back here because I had to shove it back here when I originally did it. Now, this right here, this is the black Metra adapter and then as you can see I've custom made my harness here and I'm going to unplug the radio to make this even easier okay 
so I can set that aside and I won't damage my radio. So, get back in focus here. All right, so this, this whole thing right here, this is the harness that I made. Now, yes, I know it's ridiculously long. I could have made it smaller, but that's what these are your stock fact. This, these are your two, this blue one and your gray one are your factory clips. These would be in your factory radio if you had taken it out right now. So this Metro inter, uh, which is by access actually, I mean, but it, it comes with the metric kit. So, um, it's got a gain knob, which it's on one of the sides. I, I taped these cause the connections weren't that bad, uh, were bad, but, um, right there you have a little flathead or a Phillips screwdriver you can put in there. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to, um, change the volume of your, uh, chimes. So when you get in the car and you put your key in the ignition, you get the ding, ding, ding. Yeah. You can change the volume of that. Um, when you install this and also then once you have that set it allows you to change the gain of the radio so you can turn so when the radio is on you power it on and you can um, adjust that to get it louder or um, it's to adjust your volume on your aftermarket radio because all uh, radios are different um, basically what it also does is that a aftermarket head unit gives 50 watts per four speaker channels automatically well when you have a stock uh, factory amplifier and you put that in it'll just burn everything up so if you didn't have this interface it would not it just would not work you'd, you'd ruin your sound so um, trying to think of any other tips uh, this is I is I solder this entire uh, harness and obviously if any of you have any questions on how um, I hooked everything up it's pretty much color to color um, but as you can see I have a couple that are bypass the um, the unit and the unit also has all the provision is if you were going to put a navigation uh, head unit in here now of course mine doesn't have navigation so most of that was cut out or just wrapped up like as you can see here but that's this is um, the light this green and this light green those were cut out I think but the your, your purples your gray uh, your dark green and your white are your speaker uh, red is normally constant power black is ground, but yeah, as you can see here yellow is accessory so Any other questions you can just let me know and if you need to know where to get this It's all you can find it on eBay. All you have to do is search uh, GM Bose uh, Aftermarket radio interface. I mean it's they they sell them anywhere um, this one's uh, access and Metra, but I think uh there's another brand that makes one too. So now I have to figure out where I'm going to run my RCAs for the subs, which they're going to plug into the back of your, your radio. And also I have to um, install a remote uh, amp turn on wire into this interface, which on my radio is this dark blue wire. Now I'm going to be using a green uh, 22 gauge wire, but that's because that's all I have. But I'm sure I'll just go behind in, in the back and through and under. So I have taken out, uh, it'll come It'll come down here and make sure it's stuff. And then I'm just going to put it in these panel pieces. This trim just pops out. I'm going to put it under here and then same thing in the back. It's going to run here and then into the back to where my subs are at which I'm using two uh, Rockford Fosgate P2 subs. It's only a 500 RMS system, and then I just have a cheaper 400 uh, watt amp right now, but eventually that'll be upgraded. But for right now, it does the job. And uh, any other questions, just uh, comment below. All right, so it's gonna be the radio, but here's the here's the radio. Here's the subs.